Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 survival horror game series and in today's video we are going to be pretty much finishing up our environment in here just in terms of the way it looks and the way it feels and the way that we're going to be doing that is pretty much just lighting up the forest environment of ours because at the moment it's sort of a daytime environment it's not very scary it doesn't kind of really fit in with the survival theme that we're going to be going for so what I'm going to be doing is I'm essentially going to be going over how to change it into a nighttime scene and how to capture the atmosphere the look and the feel for that and I'm also going to be going over a couple of techniques um, as to how we can pull this off best so how to use like a skylight some point lights for detail lighting and a few other bits and bobs anyway so without further ado let's go ahead and get started so the way that we're going to do this is we are going to use the skylight to give a little bit of light to the scene we're going to move the light source to make it go under the map to sort of make it like a um, make it like a night time we're going to update the sky sphere so you know it follows the directional light that's going to be sort of like you know underneath the level you know because it's going to be night time so i'm going to stop talking about the details and i am just going to get straight into it so you guys can easily follow along and understand also for those of you that haven't actually watched my unreal engine 4 beginner tutorial series i do have a really great tutorial on lighting i definitely check you for a uh, Sorry, I definitely advise that you guys go ahead and check that out just so you can easily follow along with this tutorial. So in terms of the look and the feel of, you know, this of the environment, this is sort of what I want to be going for today. This is what I am working towards. So you can see here it's a very nighttime kind of scene here. There's a lot less brightness in here. There's no sun. It's just sort of moonlit and it's got this sort of blue look going on. So, the first thing that we're going to need to do then is we are need going to need to move the light source. And the light source is essentially just like with directional light for the level. And we just pretty much need to rotate this so that the sun goes down in the same way that, you know, the sun would move in the real world. So we're just going to make sure that this goes underneath the level. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to try and find like the sort of right uh, level of sundown that works for me and this pretty much works for me really so I'm going to keep it at that once I've done that I've got to do another little thing here and that is with the sky sphere and what I've got to do with this is pretty much just refresh the material so that it adjusts to the new position of the sun because at the moment it's still up and it still looks like it's daytime so the way we're going to do that is just go to the details panel with the sky sphere selected and press refresh material and you can see it's still we've still got a little bit of sun coming in here which we probably don't need to be honest so you know i'm just going to rotate the light source again and we're just going to keep it going it's going to make sure there's no sun on the on the, on these trees at all so i'm going to get it down here you may have to rotate it in a couple of different ways to sort of get the look and the feel that you're after let's try refresh it now it's still not night time, so you just got to keep playing around with it until you, you really do get the look and the feel that you're after. So just keep playing around with it. So that is looking good for now. So let's go ahead and try that. Sky Sphere, refresh the material, and it's sort of gone night time. But the only issue with that is that the trees have sort of got some weird lighting going on from the bottom. So we sort of just have to keep adjusting this until we get what we want so keep playing around with for me i'm just going to pretty much get rid of all of the light on the trees and it's going to completely spin it around here and then maybe do this i'm not too sure where i'm going with this but just keep playing around with it until you do get rid of all the sun and everything because you're working with free axes it does sort of get a little bit cuckoo a little bit crazy um, so we don't need to turn it on that axis, we're just going to set the sun down here. There you are. That's probably going to be the worst, best way to do it for now. And with that done, we're just going to go ahead and find the sky sphere, refresh the material, and we're just going to work with this for the night. So there's a couple of different settings that we can actually play around with for the sky sphere. For example, we can change the speed of the cloud, um, the size, the opacity, and a few other things. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn up the brightness of the stars to sort of make it more of like a nighttime scene. So in the details panel with the sky sphere selected just go ahead and turn up the sky uh, 
star's brightness and you'll start to see them pop out. Only issue is because of the time of day on the sky sphere at the moment you can't see them. So some of the settings that you can adjust would be things like the cloud speed. You could turn that up so it's super fast or you could turn it down so it sort of slows it down a little bit to make it more realistic. And then we could even play around with the opacity if we wanted to just like that. So that is working good for us for now. But the main issue with our scene at the moment is it, you know, the sun has gone down now, but, you know, it's sort of pitch black. So we need to add in some kind of like um, basic level of light to the whole environment. And the way we're going to do that is go to uh, add a skylight. So if we add that in, you can sort of see we've got this skylight now and it's got this sort of tinge of orange straight from the sky, which is really nice. It's very natural. And you may want to turn down the brightness of the skylight because we are actually still trying to go for a nighttime scene. So we don't want it to be very, you know, uh, just too bright. So with the skylight selected, just go into the settings and just turn down the intensity. Maybe turn it down to something like 0 0.5. It's all 0 0.4, something like that. And I'm going to go ahead and press play and see exactly how that looks. And I can see at the moment this is looking quite nice. We've got quite the scene here. And when I turn on my flashlight and I walk around my scene, it looks very dramatic. We've got plenty of atmosphere, which is really, really nice, I guess. Um, I'm probably going to turn down the intensity a little bit more, maybe something like 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, not 0 0.1, that's a bit too much. 0 0.12, 0 0.15, and that will do for now. Um, so what you guys might want to do is add in a few point lights just to add a bit of detail, I guess. Um, so for example, if we take a look at the picture that we've been working towards for the past few episodes, which is going to be on my desktop somewhere, you can see on this picture, you can see we've got a few sort of like detail lights on some bushes and plants that kind of stuff just to just to sort of break things up a bit so you know you can go ahead and do that so I've already added in a couple of fern plants into my scene which I'm going to highlight with some point light so I'm just going to go ahead and show you how I'm going to do that so I'm just going to drag a point light going to move it over the uh, fern or whatever it is you're trying to add a bit of detail to I'm going to move it just above it and I'm going to turn the attenuation radius down and what that is going to do is it's just going to change you know how far the light is going to go and if you wanted to you can proceed to turn the brightness up it's entirely up to you and you can add in as many of these point lights as you want just move them around play around with it do what you like so we've got another one of these I'm going to make this one cover the other fern over here control C control V we got another one over here <coughs> But before I do keep copying and pasting them, it probably uh, pr it would probably be a good idea to change the color because we don't want it to be a complete white. We want it to be a little bit mysterious, a little bit strange. So I'm going to go ahead and chuck that in there. And I'm also going to move these down a little bit, turn the attenuation radius down a little bit as well. When it comes to lighting, there is a lot of things that you need to play around with to get the right atmosphere, really. So just play around with it and just do what you like, really. Um, also, before I do end off the tutorial, I do want you guys to make sure that you... Uh, that you build your lighting before you finish as well because you know you're gonna have preview all over it and you know it just it just won't look as nice as it really should but for now we've got a really nice scene here and what I want you guys to do also is just sort of play around with the you know the position of the light source to make it actually turn it into like a daytime scene uh, because at the moment it's sort of like very very early morning and that's probably not exactly what I wanted to but what we could do is we could just change it with post processing but it's entirely up to you but for now that is pretty much everything that I wanted to go over for lighting as I said it's all about experimenting and don't forget to build your lighting up here as well so that's pretty much everything for this video make sure you comment like and subscribe and also don't forget to share the video so we can build the community spread the word share the love and just get it out there so I will see you in the next video goodbye